<laughs> Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and I'm coming at you here with another video showing you the result of the absolute insanity of buffing anti-air, which happened in the spring update. Now normally when somebody tries to make a point with a YouTube video, the video only contains a few examples, making it somewhere around a minute or two long. This one, however, just like with my normal content, is going to be quite a bit longer. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. <laughs> Anti-air, holy shit. In this part of the video, I'd like to showcase the problem with comparing statistics between some weapons, vehicles, and playstyles. Probably the same guy on the AA. That's spotting. Out there. Yeah. It's over now anyway, so... Yeah, same same guy. It's the same guy. Sim. Yeah. One nine. Yeah, one and nine. He's been standing on the anti-air the whole time. Yeah, and a few weeks later they nerfed the attack plan. Yeah, that's the thing. You have some of the top players uh, focusing on on uh, on flying, right? And then you have people like that who is level 23, 1 to 9, and he's spending all his time in anti-air. And then they use that information to say, yeah, but you know, hmm, looking at this and that, and he misses that, he does so much damage. Now we have to, we have to buff anti-air. <laughs> yeah, that's logic. So what I wanted to point out with that statement was that there are some things or some differences between players that makes a big difference in the overall statistics when it comes to weapons, vehicles and playstyles that many times seems to be neglected in these discussions. People like myself that dedicate a lot of time into becoming a good pilot in games, we already have the mindset that once we start a new game it's going to take a lot of time and dedication before we actually get good at what we want to do. This way of thinking is natural to us, because we know that that's just the way things works. Now the very same thing can of course be said about a lot of players and a lot of playstyles in first person shooter games, but for whatever reason, countering pilots is always supposed to be very very easy. And let's be honest, using anti-air requires little to no skill, at least on PC. <laughs> now apparently this is harder to do on console for a couple of different reasons as far as I've heard. Now partly it's because you can't turn as fast with the controller as you can do with the mouse. Now that makes perfect sense. Another thing is that the aim assist that you have on console many times forces your aim directly on target, which obviously prevents you from leading something that is absolutely necessary to do in many situations, or actually in most situations with anti-air. On the other hand, I've also heard a lot of console players absolutely just laughing at this, saying anti-air is no problem to use on console at all. Ah, uh, bail, bail, bail. Oh, fuck, I, I couldn't uh, pull up there. Now, I have said several times that uh, console and PC should not have the same balance. That is a statement that I stand by, and everything I've seen comparing PC with console only confirms that. Oh shit! Oh bail, yeah. Yeah, you can't control the plane. It's so fucking stupid. I missed it completely. Oh cheers, Nathan Rogue! 1500 cheers! Did we get some- did we get some love for that, guys? I mean, I missed I it. Oh, that's good. So now, besides the differences between platforms, there's another thing that is really important to understand when it comes to these discussions, and that is that we can experience this very differently depending on what game mode we play. I play Conquest exclusively, and if you compare Conquest with uh, Operations, for example, in the Operations game mode, it is a lot easier to predict where from you're taking damage if you're taking damage from anti-air, meaning that it will be a lot easier to dodge it. In Conquest, many times, by the time that you realize from where you're taking damage from anti-air, it is already too late. Uh. So now many times when I've discussed this on Reddit, which seems to be dominated by console players, a lot of people say that it's completely pointless to shoot planes with small arms fire, you only do like 30 damage to it, it repairs and comes back at full health anyway. Now from everything I've seen from YouTube videos and uh, streams on Twitch, that statement makes perfect sense on console. But on PC, people have for a long time realized the value of shooting planes with their infantry weapons. Now again, this might be very different in operations, I honestly don't know. A big part in a battlefield game is teamwork, but that doesn't mean that you have to be in team speak or something similar 
with four other guys in a squad. Sometimes it's as simple as just watching what your teammates are shooting at and shooting at the same target. The term used is focus fire. Here you will see me being attacked by two anti-airs simultaneously. Right there. Holy shit, there is so many. On the... Wait. Yeah, yeah, you I'm can. stuck. I'm uh. stuck again. Anti-air oh, on G. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. I still... We have lost objective duff. You think coming up? Jump out. <laughs> one bomber gone. <laughs> nice. Here's another one. Ah! What do you guys think about my new artillery truck, huh? Beautiful, huh? Look at it. Green, with a cross on, and a cannon on top. And a Danish flag. <laughs> and a Danish flag. Yeah. Back from D. You like it? Hello, a, a rock gun. Imagine the tanks they have now. Imagine the tank superiority. Like first they lose an artillery truck to me, and then they spawn another anti-air artillery truck. <laughs> we again, I can't spot. Enemy plane. That ship. One hit on the land ship. Now there are some changes coming to anti-air. At the moment that I'm making this video, it's actually being tested on CTE. Now when it comes live and how it's going to affect the game, I don't really know. But I guess we can always hope that the DICE has come to their senses. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Uh. Oh, we did the D? Enjoy the balance! <laughs> oh, they're in the, bu in the bunker again. <laughs> Enjoy the balance! Damn! Him up. Enjoy the balance. Ah oh, shit! Oh, somebody coming! Killed. Yeah, I see you again. Can't fight against that bar. Swing around is at the door. It's down. Oh shit! On my body. Plane incoming, plane incoming. Oh, they crushed me. Be a little house. One guy nice. inside. Nice. Yeah. Uh, in the bar, in the bar, in yeah, the bar. Yeah, it must be outside the, the bar. 
Yeah. Kill another ten, uh, plane. We have taken objective butter. No. Are you in the bunkers? One of them down. Then he's going back on C. And he's going down on C. Nice. Oh, they're up the top. Yeah. <laughs> I got one, I got one. <laughs> Crossbow, bitch. Oh, in the stairs. Enemy it's, uh... plane spotted. Can you kick someone? Yep. Yeah, try to dogfight now, my friend. He went down. I can't see anyway. Alright. We have taken objective apples. Avoid Mathieu appears. Oh, I'm behind the Oh! That was you. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can see above it. This thing is really good against infantry. Oh, we lost D. I'm gonna mark D. <gasps> How did he land that shot? Yeah, and I'm disabled. As fuck. Holy shit. Got one plane down. Nice. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got killed by another Yeah, yeah, I'm shooting it, I'm shooting it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. They go down fast once you start shooting at them. <laughs> That's the qu thing, some people forget about it. No, 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 they're still stationary on port. If it's two of them. Yeah, two of them. Oh, Antaya. On G. Jumping. Yeah. I got greedy.